Oh, we've got more. Let's get my next guest out. She is one of this country's greatest actresses. I first fell in love with her in The X-Files. I've loved her in everything she's done since. It is the one and only Gillian Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah. You look gorgeous. Come and sit down. I apologise. It does smell a bit like how I don't know if you're familiar with the phrase a knocking shop, but this is kind of that smell of old aftershave. There is kind of. I don't how smell I the old spice though. My dad used to wear that. And Did he? I, uh, yeah. It takes you back, doesn't it? It does take me back. Uh, I thought you were American, but you're not American. You were born here, weren't you? I was born in America. Oh, you were. And mates. then grew up here okay. um, in Crouch End and Haringey. <laughs> wow. And so how much of your life did you spend here and how much there? Were you mainly in the UK? I was mainly in the UK until... I was in the UK until I was 11, then moved to the States, and then um, moved here about 11 years ago. OK. You are the envy, I think, of many women this evening. Because you spent a lot of time alone in that room with David Beckham back there. Are you a, f a football fan generally? You must have seen him work, I would guess. Um, I have seen his work. I've watched a few games. Um, I'm not a huge sports fan in general, but I know who he was. Well, you I'm joking. <laughs> You're more of a fan of his underwear work? Yeah. <laughs> fact. So are you, apparently. I, yeah, I, I enjoy looking at pictures of David Beckham wearing only pants. Does that make me a bad person? No, not a bad person. It makes me a good person. Yeah. I have one room in my house, wallpapered with them. Does that make it strange? <laughs> Uh, but you've done that kind of work, I guess, because there was an episode of Space what on kind of years work? Ago. Well, where you've modelled and you've posed and you haven't had necessarily loads of clothes on. Have I? Yeah, a little bit. What, are you going to show me something? No. Oh, good. <laughs> would, you, would you like me no, to? No, <laughs> I expected you to, like, bring oh, no. up a picture well, there was, of what? There was one thing this week, and this was for a very oh, nice reason. Yes, there was yeah. a... Well, well, explain this picture. This is a picture of you with a gigantic eel. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's this for? Well, that was for a campaign uh, called Fish Love, which was um, uh, drawing attention to the deep sea fishing that's going on um, in the north of here, actually, and that's destroying a lot of the, um, the deep sea fishes and corals and everything that's under there that we haven't even discovered yet. So it's a very serious uh, thing to be doing. Well, yes, it's very serious, and, and because of this, and there's, there's other actors and uh, um, other celebrities from... I England and we, France have done pictures. Do you have we others? have a picture of Goldie uh, with his red snapper. <laughs> and this guy, this. <laughs> but that's a real fish. These were real fish, are you? Yeah, yeah, they were real fish that were actually used afterwards, were, were eaten, so they were not wasted. They're not alive in the pictures. That wasn't possible. What they were. Who, who wants to eat that fish after Goldie <laughs> has been holding it there? <laughs> I wouldn't want a portion of that snapper, would you? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think we could get David Beckham to do a picture with the fish? <laughs> Would you do a picture with a fish? Of course. <laughs> you heard it here. A really small fish. No. <laughs> OK, either that means you want to see what he's got or you don't think he's got a lot that can be covered <laughs> up. <laughs> or maybe... Tadpole. A tadpole? You're making it worse. <laughs> That's not a comment on what it's hiding. Never mind, let's change the subject. <laughs> OK, uh, let's talk about The Fall, because The Fall was a brilliant series. I don't know how many people watched The Fall, but it was a great series. Uh, the uh, detective you probably... Is he a detective? Yeah, Detective Superintendent Stella Gibson. Stella Gibson. What a yeah. great character. What a strong character. Yeah. What attracted you to her in particular? What did you like about the way she lives her life? Well, I, I don't think that I've ever read a character, a female character, quite like her. I, I still... Uh, she's still a conundrum to me. She's very mysterious and, um, you know, obviously very independent and intelligent and self-assured and good at her job and very self-contained. And um, I just... I liked her from the first page. I loved how confident she was uh, in herself and in her needs, if you know what I'm saying. I think I know what you're getting at. Yeah, she's a woman who knows what she wants and she's, she's not afraid to let people know. Wants. And that's quite unusual to see, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Is it nice to play that kind of person? It is nice. I've actually... I, I feel like I've learned uh, from her uh, about how to be a better woman, to be honest. Okay. Let's have a look. This will explain, in case you didn't see it, about this character getting what she wants. Look at this. <laughs> and, uh... 
he, uh, as he walked away, that man, he, he looked kind of terrified. He did look slightly terrified. His face looked a bit yeah. like that eel you were molesting earlier. <laughs> and yet he showed up to room 203. Now, this, uh, this room, this hotel, I believe, for fans of the fall, this has become something of a kind of a, a, pla a place to visit. They like to go to that particular Apparently room. Apparently the room is booked up until 2015 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, now, the character in the fall, she's single. You're a single woman at the moment. Yes, I am. OK. Uh, do you enjoy the dating process? Do you like uh, what going... What dating process? Well, when you get asked out on a date. You... I never get asked out on a date. I, what? I don't believe that. I don't. That. No, I don't. I don't. Mm -mm. You must be getting some action. Well, I might be getting some action, but I don't get asked out on a date. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, do you have a, Say someone... You say you don't get asked out, but say someone wants to be that with you. Well, never. But I don't, I, I don't think I'm either... I think people are terrified of me. Men are generally terrified of me. Maybe because they see you like that and they think that's you. Well, that might be me, but still, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not terrifying. No, it's not. No. It's actually quite nice to know where yeah. you stand. Exactly. How would you read up? But you, I guess you have to be careful because you've played so many kind of like memorable characters. And if we think back about the X Files, that those kind of shows generally attract a very devoted audience. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to find yourself out on a date. <laughs> with someone who was just a mad exile fan, would you? Who had my face tattooed on his arse cheek. Yeah, does, probably not. It, does anyone have that? Yes, yes. But also David's on the other one. Wow. <laughs> In Australia. Which makes it feel a bit safer, knowing he's over there, yeah. isn't it? It was, a, it was a woman, actually. <laughs> I think. I can't remember. <laughs> Do you, do you always know where she is? Is that kind of you, always, you keep tabs on her just to make sure she doesn't get close? Yes, GPS, stuck somewhere between David and I. <laughs> I'm do crude. You, I liked you in x a lot. I thought it was terrific. But there was one performance you gave where I thought, wow, this is, this is an incredible actor. And that was a, a TV thing called House of Murph. And that was something where I, I didn't know you were capable of that kind of acting, because I guess I hadn't seen you in it before. But it, it must have been nice to be given the chance to, to blossom into those kind of roles. It was. It was. I mean, I, I, um, it, it was quite a shock for me at the time because I, any time during that series or after that series that somebody offered me something that was completely different, even though I believed that I could do it, I was quite shocked that anybody else might think that I might be able to. And that was the first example of that with Terence Davies um, offering me that role. And it was the first time that I got to do that kind of thing. Um, yeah, thank you. It's an incredible film, it's an incredible film. That's why I love seeing you. And I genuinely think you're one of the best actors in the business, really. It's not, you're just incredible to watch. Uh, so I can't thank wait you. for the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous and not yet dating... <laughs> Gillian Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you tell me. <laughs>